hello everyone welcome back to our youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to make this design of hand fan from scratch to finish so please endeavor to watch the entire video and also like and comment on this video the materials i'm going to be needing has satin fabric you can use ankara fabric or any fabric of your choice i'm also going to be needing add gum stay or interfacing scissors to cut Taylor's chalk, measurement tape, hot glue gun, and a cane. So if you're in Nigeria, you know what this is. I got this from a bookshop. You could get this from any shop around you. The length of the fabric which I'm going to be using is 50 inches and the width is 12 inches. So you can increase the length of the fabric to 60 inches. And like I said earlier on, you can also use Ankara fabric if you don't want to use a satin fabric to make this hand fan. Now I'm going to get my pressing hand on and give this a good press. So I want to straighten this out properly before I will get the gum stay. The gum stay measures 5 inches for the width and the length is 48 inches. Remember the length of our fabric is 50 inches and I'm going to reduce it by 2 inches. So the gum stay is going to be 48 inches. Now with the wrong side of my fabric facing up, that's the right side underneath now i'm going to place the shiny part of the gum stay on the fabric like so on the wrong side of the fabric and okay so as you can see from this point i'm going to leave about one inch then i will use my iron to iron the gum stay to the fabric I'm also going to be leaving one inch excess here on the fabric before placing the the hard gum stay on the fabric. So I'll iron this to the other hand. You want to ensure that your iron is hot and you iron this properly. So once I'm done ironing that to the other hand, I'm going to fold in this part and then I'll use my iron to give that a good press. So I'm going to hang on this to the other tip or end of the fabric and then I'm going to fold in this part as well like so. So after folding I will also use the hang on to hang on it or straighten it down. Now I'm also going to fold in this part like so. Okay, so that tip, I'm going to fold it in. Please ensure or endeavor to fold this in neatly. So once I'm done folding, I will also take the iron and iron this or straighten it down. I will continue like that to the other hand or tip of the fabric. Once I'm done ironing the fabric, I'm going to get my hot glue gun. If you have your USU gum or your E6000 gum, you can use that instead. 
I'm going to apply the gum on this part of the fabric like so and then I'm going to gum it down. Please, I would advise you don't apply the gum close to the tip or the edge of the fabric. As you can see, I think I skipped about half an inch there and uh, that's the part I'm going to be applying my gum. The reason is because we are going to be using our needle and thread to stitch this part. So if you apply your gum very close to the tip, it will be very difficult for you to use your needle and your thread to stitch. So you're going to apply your gum to the end of the fabric. If you also have your sewing machine, you can use your sewing machine to just stitch all the way down instead of or using gum to gum this part. After applying the gum, I'm going to give this a good press one more time with my pressing hanging before I go ahead to use this to make my hand fan. Now I'm going to be folding the fabric like so. I'll fold in this part, this tip. Okay, that is about one inch. It's about one inch. Then the next pleat I'm going to be making will be one and a half inch or two inches so you may want to use one and a half inch or two inches that's what i'll be using to make the plate that's the major method the length of the or the width of the plate yeah the width so i'm going to be making my plate like so i will pleat the entire fabric or i'll pleat the fabric to the other end After making about four to five pleats, I will use my pressing hand to iron it to achieve a neat pleat. I'm going to continue now. So once I make about or uh, maybe three or four, I will just go ahead and use the pressing hand to iron just like that. Now that I'm done making my pleats, I'm going to get my needle and my thread and I'm going to be tacking this part. So this is the part we applied gum on the other time. And I also told you that when you're applying your gum, you should not apply the gum very close to the tip because we are going to be tacking this part. So I'm going to tack like so. So it is impossible for you to pass your needle and your thread all the way through to the other uh, side of the fabric. You are going to be taking it or you are going to be passing your needle and your thread through each of the pleats like that until you get to the other side like so. Then I'm going to knot the thread and cut out the excess thread. After cutting out the excess thread, I'm also going to flip over to the other side and I'm going to be tacking the pleat as well. So this will enable me to achieve a firm and sturdy hand fan. And as usual, when I get to the other side of the pleat, I'm going to knot the thread and then I'll cut out the excess thread. I'll set that aside and I'll get the cane. I'm going to measure at 11.5 11 inches or 12 inches and then I will use the I will use my 
knife to cut that at can you see i'm going to be needing two of this i'm going to be using ribbon to wrap the cane but for the sake of those that do not have ribbon or the, the exact color of ribbon you can use your fabric so this is the satin fabric i measured and cut at 60 inches by 2 inches the length is 60 inches and the width is 2 inches you are going to fold and iron like so so you can use this to wrap the cane or you can use ribbon so now i'm going to be using ribbon so like i said you can use this this that's the fabric i cut out earlier on but i'm going to be using ribbon because i don't want the handle to be too thick i will get one of the cane and i will apply my gum on one tip like so And then I'm going to cut this hat. I will apply the, the gum again and then I'll place the ribbon on it and I will wrap. So if you want to wrap with your fabric, you are going to use same process or same procedure to wrap the cane with your fabric. When I get to the other tip of the cane, I'm going to apply my gum again and I will place or stylishly cover this up with the ribbon. Once I'm done wrapping this cane, I'm going to use the same procedure to wrap the other cane that we are going to be using for the handle of the hand fan. The last thing I'm going to be doing is to attach the handle to the hand fan. To do this, I'm going to be needing my hot glue gun. If you have made it this far to this part of the video and you are yet to subscribe to this channel, Please hit that subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell to get notifications whenever we upload new videos. And if you are getting value from this video, please like this video, comment on this video and also share this video with your friends and loved ones who would be interested in content like this. After applying the gum on the fabric, I'm going to place the handle on the fabric like so. And then I will apply the gum again and use the fabric to wrap the handle or the cane neatly. So when you are attaching the handle to the hand fan, you want to be extremely careful to avoid the gum stains on your work. Because if you are not careful, you will end up having gum stains on your work and at the end of the day, your work will not look neat. Now the hand fan is ready. I'm cutting out a piece of ribbon which I'm going to be using to tie the handle. Please note that this is optional so you can skip this. Can you see? This is the finished look of our hand fan. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to share this video, 
like and comment on this video then if you are yet to subscribe please do well to subscribe and also turn on the notification bell